Drinking when he starts talking about the government. This government. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least that's what they call themselves. That they think that they can just take my boy away from me. The boy that I spent all these years worrying about and raising. They call this government. Why well, look at here, a free Negro from Ohio was wearing these white man clothes. He even had a gold watch and chain. And they said that he could vote. That's it. I'll never vote again. Yep, that's what I get to hear every single day. I know it's not too long till his legs get out on him. <sighs> Thing that hugs here. I don't know how to do anything involved with nature. I think he learned all that from Tom Sawyer. Jim said that about me? No, no. I learned it all myself. Well, most of it. Life is life is great here on this island, ain't it? Jim? Yep. No slavery, no worries. It's just you, me, and nature. Nat said that he was feeding the dogs. Do dogs even eat that stuff? I know Jim's in there. I shared my thoughts with Huck. Of course he agrees. I'm a genius and I've got a plan. Nat, can we see those dogs that you're feeding? Piggy, of course. They're right over there. This one's a real specialty. Huh, Tom! What 
you know them? Witches! These witches! They've been messing with me for too long. I've had enough. They're taking over my body. Hey, Matt, you wouldn't mind if me and Tom helped to feed these dogs every day, would ya? Do I mind? Of course not. This job gets pretty lonely. It kind of makes me depressed to see a fellow slave all locked up and such. Still freak me out about them witches, though. Yes, you can help me. See you at dinner. I almost ruined it for us all. But hey, now I get to see Huck and Tom every day. Just so Huck doesn't take credit for my work again, I'll say it first. We're going to save Jim. Yep, that's pretty much it. All right, the day is almost here. Jim has his supplies, the sheet ladder. He's written some letters on his clothes, and our plan is almost complete. I am so excited. My freedom has never been closer. I don't really understand Tom, though. He says he wants to put rats and snakes in my cabin. I hate snakes. I hate rats. Jim doesn't understand. This is the way it has to be done. Everyone adds these extra fancy things into the escape. Um, I'm with Jim on this one. He's literally stored in a cabinet. I could just go in there and grab him and no one would even care. Alrighty, Jim. Are you ready? Oh, Tom, more than you know. Let's bust out of here. Guys, guys, where's Pop? Where's Pop? Oh. Dang it, not again. <laughs> 